Itinanghal na Miss Universe 2023 si Shaynas Palacios mula sa Nicaragua sa pagtatapos ng ikapitumput dalawang edisyon ng International Beauty Pageant na ginanap sa Jose Adolfo Pineda Arena sa San Salvador, El Salvador. Tinalbagan ni Miss Nicaragua ang mahigit walumpung iba pang kandidata mula sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Ipinasa sa kanya ang korona ni 2022 Miss Universe Riboni Gabriel mula sa Amerika na may lahiling Filipino. Wagi bilang first runner-up sa ginanap na Miss Universe 2023 si Miss Thailand Antonio Porcild habang second runner-up si Miss Australia Moraya Wilson. Nabigo naman ang pambato ng Pilipinas na si Michelle D na umabot hanggang sa top 10 pero hindi na nga nakapasok sa top 5 finalists. Siya na sana ang ikalimang Pinay na kokoronahang Miss Universe na una ng nasungkit ng apat na reyna na sina Gloria Diaz, Margie Moran, Tia Wurzbach at Katrina Gray. Pero in fairness, talaga namang kinarir din ng kapuso actress at beauty queen ang training para sa paglaban niya sa naturang pageant at nangako siya sa sambayan ng Pilipino na gagawin niya ang lahat para maiuwi ang titulo at korona. Sabi nga niya pagkatapos ng prelims competition. Now, it's really about enjoying the process and trusting in the training and let's see what happens. I have been working every single day with my mentors to try and improve to make sure that I am the best representation of the country that we love. Kita nyo naman, prelims pa lang, I really wanted to embody the true essence of being a Filipino, and I'm so happy about all the feedback, Ania. Ang mga personalidad na bumubuo sa selection committee ng Miss Universe pageant this year ay sina Halima Aiden, Somali-American model, Mexican singer Mario Bautista, Giselle Blondet, TV host mula Puerto Rico, 1977 Miss Universe Janelle Commission mula sa Trinidad and Tobago, American social media personality Avani Gregg. Nanjan din sina Carson Kressley, TV personality, actor at designer mula sa US, Connie Mariano, Filipino-American physician, Miss Universe 2016 Iris Mitinir mula sa France, Suite Patel, Rocos Vice President of Merchandising and Growth Marketing, at Denise White, Miss Oregon 1994 at American Businesswoman. Ngayong taon, all-female team ang magsisilbing host sa Grand Coronation ng Miss Universe 2023 na kinabibilangan nina Maria Manunos, Olivia Colpo, at Jeannie Mai. Magsisilbi namang backstage correspondents si Nazuri Hall at Katrina Gray. Anyways, all deserve naman para kay Miss Nicaragua dahil in fairness, matindi ang naging impact sa mga judges ng kanyang winning answer sa final question and answer segment kung saan nakalaban niya si na Miss Australia Moraya Wilson at Miss Thailand Antonio Porcild. Ang tanong, if you could live in one year, if you could live one year, in another woman's shoes, who would you choose and why? Ang sagot ni Miss Nicaragua, I would choose Mary Watson Brad because she opened the gap and gave an opportunity to many women. And what I would do, I would want that gap, that income gap, would open up so that women could work in any area that they choose to work in. Because there are no limitations for women, that was 1750. Now, in 2023, we're making history. Dagdag pa nito, para naman kay Miss Thailand. I would choose Malala Yousafzai because I know the struggles that she had to deal with in order to get to where she is today. She had to fight for women's education and fight for all women to be able to stand strong and be the change, and lead by example, if I could choose anyone, that would be her, thank you. At ang answer naman ni Miss Australia, I would live my mother's year, in her birth year, because she's a very strong woman. She's tough, 
She taught me how to work hard. She taught me how to be brave, how to be strong, and I'm forever grateful for those lessons that she taught me. Dagdag pa niya, samantala, siguradong naging mahigpit din ang laban ng top 5 finalists sa Q&A portion. Narito ang tanong kay Miss Australia. How would you use the Miss Universe platform to promote global gender equality? I would use the Miss Universe platform to push a message. I think this community is strong and when we bond together, we can create changes. And when it comes to gender equality, when we use our voice and we use our power to make a change, that's when real movement happens. Thank you. Ang question kay Carla Gilfo ng Puerto Rico. If you win tonight, what would you bring to the Miss Universe brand? I would use that opportunity to show the world the relevance of beauty queens nowadays. I would use my activism regarding mental health and showing the world how it is important that if we use our voice, if we take our space, if we are courageous enough to be ourselves in this world, I would use the platform to reach in and be that. Narito naman ang sagot ni Miss Nicaragua sa question na, What qualities and values guide you as a leader and role model for others? The quality that has inspired me and has inspired millions of women and girls, I apologize, today is humility and to be able to appreciate all the little things. Because that's where the most valuable thing is, the essence of being human. Thank you. Ito ang tanong kay Miss Thailand. If you could speak to a room full of students about online bullying, what would you say? I would say to not listen to what people have to say because in the end, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but it is up to us on how we react to it. Use our voice to stand up for what is right and be the change that we want to see in the world by leading by example. Don't listen to the hate because it doesn't shape us, but what shapes us is how we get back up and how we move forward from that. Thank you. If this was your last day on earth, how would you live it? Ang tanong na ibinato kay Miss Colombia. I am already living it because I'm here. I'm breaking stereotypes being a woman, being a mother. It's to live history, a legacy. Something that I want to transmit to women, mothers, and children. Thank you.